Welcome to the Salter's House Coaching Self-Worth Masterclass. I am so excited to be able to share with you all of the amazing things that this class can really help you with. Now, if you are a person who are struggling with self-worth, sometimes you don't like the way you look. You always find yourself comparing yourself to other people. You just feel like sometimes you just want to take your life. You feel like you're depressed. If that is you, you are in the right place program. I am Nathan Salter. I am the uh, president and the CEO of Salter's House Coaching. I just love being able to help people in this area because this has been an area in my life that I have overcome. I've been through a lot of the different things that many of you are experiencing. I've been through depression. I've been through addiction. I've been through bullying. I've been through uh, just not liking the way I look. All of the things that you can think about that will cause a person's self-worth to go down. I have experienced that. And so one of the things that I want to be passionate about doing before I leave this earth is to be able to help this next generation and, and even parents and even adults to be able to get back to the place where you can find your self-worth. Many people are struggling today because of lack of self-worth. So let me tell you a little bit about me in this introduction before we get into the master classes that I really believe that you're going to be uh, touched and, and, and helped by. So I hope you get a, a, a paper and pen because we are going to take some notes. It's going to, I'm going to be simple, straight to the point. If you want to uh, do more coaching and to go deeper and deeper in one-on-one, please hit me up at saltershousecoaching.com. I would love to be able to take you and really help you personally with the things that you may be struggling with. Again, I mean, we all need somebody to help us with this. And for me, I'm so passionate about helping people with this, but in this, I wanted to just be able to offer some information to, to you just so you can be able to have it. Cause I know many of you are saying, listen, I need help. Something is wrong. I feel like taking my life. And before you even think about taking your life, just please hear my story a little bit. Um, a little bit about me. Um, I, when I was young and growing up, um, I had a, uh, a huge problem with low self esteem. And a lot of that stemmed from the fact that I did not like the way I looked. Um, I, I just always felt like, you know, why did that, why did I look the way I did? Um, when I grew up, I remember I used to have, uh, gaps in my teeth and I used to be so insecure, uh, about smiling. And, and I remember I would go to school and, and people would bully me about, uh, the way my teeth looked when I was young. And it started with that. But then the next thing I realized was I began to start to become very isolated um, because of all the bullying. And I'm talking about when I was like maybe in uh, second, third and fourth grade. So this is where it started to develop because I started seeing all these other people who was very happy to smile, you know, and um, I'm like, man, I wish I can smile like that. But I was so insecure of my smile. And so what happened was I began to just get to this place where I felt like something was wrong with me. I did not like me. I kept saying, why was I born like this? And so what that began to do was it began to create a little, uh, a level of self-hate within my own soul. And so as I began to go through, uh, through the grade school and get around different friends, I mean, I was very smart when I was young. And the reason why I was smart is because, hey, nobody, you know, I was afraid to be around people because if I've been around people, I would get bullied about my teeth. So uh, and, you know, as mostly of, of young people, you get to the place where you start hitting puberty and you start to like girls and you start to say, oh, wow, she's pretty. But at the same time, your self-esteem is bothering you to where now you feel like, man, nobody want me. So my my self-esteem issue stemmed from the fact that I did not like uh, my smile. Now, uh, at that stage of my life, I did not have the finances to be able to get braces. Um, I would see many of my friends at school, they would come to school with braces, but we couldn't afford braces. So I just had to suffer with um, the, the way my teeth was at the time. And I always said to myself, man, if I get a better smile, I will be happy. And so that was one of the starts of it. And so when when I realized I didn't like my smile, when I realized I didn't like the way I look, it's then trickled over to um, me not caring about what people say about me. It got to the place where people would say things about me or bully me and I wouldn't stand up for myself because 
my self-worth was so low. And I know many of you young people who's watching this, you can identify with this. The reason why you feel like you don't want to go to school, the reason why you feel like you don't want to go to certain things is because you don't want to be bullied. And I know that experience. You almost feel like, listen, I'd rather stay home and study. I'd rather stay home and do my work than to go in an atmosphere where I'm going to be talked about. And so in that stage, I felt helpless in a, in a way. And so one of the things I began to realize is was I began to um, develop some super strong negative emotions. I began to get very angry, but a lot of these things was happening when I was alone. And I when I realized that when I was alone, all I wanted to do was escape my reality. All right. And we're going to be talking about that in this uh, course, in this class, because many of you, that's really what you're trying to do. You're trying to escape the reality that you're living in. And so you're looking to other people. You see all these other people on social media and you really think their reality is better than yours. And that's what's making you feel uh, depressed and secure. And so back when I was in school, we didn't have social media. So it was a matter of me just going to school, just seeing um, uh, other people in school. And I'm like, man, why is they so popular? Why are they getting all the attention? You know, why are all the girls like him? And, you know, why this, this, this? And, you know, you go through all these different things. And it was because I felt like, you know, I'm, I, I, nobody want me. You know, I, I just felt like, you know what, why live? So there was a couple of times I had thoughts of suicide because of my self-worth. I just didn't see self-worth. I didn't even know that I had some something to bring to humanity. So for me, it was just a matter of, listen, one of these days, I'm just going to take my life because I believe that reality will be so much better than the reality I'm dealing with here. So all through my, uh, all through grade school and then going to seventh and eighth grade, when I got into the seventh and the eighth grade, um, I began to get a little more popular. I began to hang with this guy. Um, and, uh, God bless his soul. He, he passed away. Uh, but he was very popular. For some reason, he just, um, he was a very bad influence on my life. And my mother really didn't like him at all around me. Um, he was the one that would, uh, go and steal something and just do it with boldness. I mean, he he was just very bold. I was the one that was like too afraid to do anything to get in trouble. But then I began to hang with him and his influence began to rub off on me. And I found myself starting to steal. I found myself starting to hang out on the streets just like him because I realized that, hey, whatever he's doing is getting attention. It's getting girls, it's getting popularity. So I said, hey, what? He's my teacher. So right there, this young man impressioned me at the age of 11 years old, where I began to be taught by his bad influences so I can get a response, so I can feel a level of self-worth. And in that um, time of my life, I began to do stuff. I began to disobey my mom, just, just start acting crazy. And, um, and it was, it was just, I, 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 at some point, I'm going to share all the things I did in that season because I was so, desperate to find a level of self-worth. So as I'm sharing with you in this masterclass, I'm not talking to you just from a place of not understanding. I know that, that feeling of you just feel like you need to fit in. You're looking to find a place to fit in. And he was, he made me feel like I fit in. You know, again, all the girls that liked him started to, you know, hey, started being cool with me. You know, all the guys that he was cool with and hanging out in the streets with started being cool with me. So I began to see him as a way out of my current reality. Though his reality was dangerous, it was, we were doing a lot of things we shouldn't have did. Guess what? It brought me out of the reality that I was in. And so, I followed him and then I got myself caught up with all kinds of different things. And so I gave you this a little analogy because, uh, not analogy, but this little story, just to let you know that I understand you, I can relate to you, I feel your pain. And so this is why I started this class because I wanted to provide something for our young people to let you know, listen, there is some causes to why you are feeling the way you're feeling. And then there is some solutions that can help you out of this. And this is what I'm going to bring for you. So I'm going to be sharing you a little bit more about my story in the upcoming courses, in the upcoming chapters. So um, that's why I'm not going to share it now. But I just wanted to let you know that in that season with my friend, um, it started it started a chain of events of how my character and my attitude began to change towards people, towards adults, towards working, towards school. Everything began to change after I connected with the wrong friend. And so this is what's going to be the introduction 
to our course. All right. So I just want to let you know that I'm there with you. I don't want you to think that uh, I'm just sharing this from out of out of just head knowledge. But listen, this is out of experience. And I'm going to I'm going to literally do everything I can to help you and give you the tools that has gotten me to a better life that got me out of that lifestyle and got me to the place where I love who I am. I have so much self-worth right now that I wish I would have had this back then, but unfortunately I did not have the tools. But guess what? I'm gonna give you those tools so you don't have to go through the same mistakes I did, okay? Listen, get ready for the next chapter and I'll see you in the next video.